everyone. Welcome to part two of What's Up With Gases, where we talk about shielding gases. In part one of this video, we use the gas metal arc welding process. In this video, we'll use the flux board arc welding dual shield process. The four gases we'll be using today is a 75% argon, 25% CO2 mix, a pure argon, a pure CO2, and a trimix, 91% argon, 5% CO2, and 4% oxygen. The flux core arc welding dual shield process uses a wire that has a flux inside of it, as well as an outer shielding gas. Today, we're going to be welding four T-joints out of quarter inch material, and all we're going to be changing is our gases. Our parameters will all stay the same. And of course, before you start welding, put on your PPE. Once that's on, We'll be ready to weld out our first coupon with 75% argon and 25% CO2 mixed gas. We've welded out our coupon with 75-25. Now we're going to move on to the trimix. Now that our Trimix coupon is welded out, we'll move on to CO2. And we've saved the best for last. We'll be going to straight argon. Now that we have all four coupons welded out, we're going to visually inspect them and compare how they look. I'll also share a little bit about what I experienced while welding. Here we have our 75-25 coupon. The bead profile is flat. It's nice and tied in. And there's a little bit of spatter. What I did notice while I was welding this it was digging in and penetrating. It was tying in well. The arc was stable. And my travel speed was moderate to fast. Here we have our Trimix coupon. The bead profile is flat. It is tied in. And it does look quite smooth. The spatter is minimal. While I was welding this fillet, I did notice that it wasn't driving into the plate as much, not getting as much penetration. The arc was steady, and my travel speed was a little bit slower. One thing that I found interesting about the Trimix is that the slag peeled itself. This coupon here is our straight CO2. The bead profile is a little bit convex. It is tied in, and it does look smooth. I do notice more spatter than the other two gases. While I was welding this one, I noticed that the arc was a little bit erratic, but it was digging in quite well, so penetration was good. And it did tie in well. My travel speed on this one was moderate to fast. Right here, the reason I say we saved the best for last is our straight argon one. Have a look at that beat. Very unsteady, very lumpy, not tied in well. And there's a weird color. 
coming off. To kind of wrap things up, the flux core arc welding dual shield process clearly likes CO2. So depending on the project you're working on and availability of gas, you want to make sure you're choosing the right one with what wire you're using. This one here may be more expensive than CO2, but there's less cleanup. You may have noticed while I was welding these coupons that the argon one didn't sound very different than the CO2 based ones. But you want to remember that the sound of your weld does not always make for a sound weld. Thanks very much for watching part two of What's Up With Gases. If you haven't seen part one, make sure you check it out. And I hope you found these tips helpful.